that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. So out come the Texans for their opening drive. And a glance here at their quarterback standing six foot three. It's pretty much become the norm when we see guys come out before a game and go through the route tree with their receivers. I thought it was exciting for us to see the exact same thing happen in practice. He's so, he's so meticulous, isn't he? He really is, and it's not. that told me it's not just a one-time-a-week thing. They work on it all the time, trying to hone that fine edge. They want to see if they can get in sync and stay in sync in this one. It's now second and six. Second and six, just inside the 30. Back to throw. Groves, reception here by Ruggs. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. 50 catches for him now on the year, and he's got a first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. On first down, they'll run with Chubb, and this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. He's Certainly a nice the job there by the defense ball. rallying to the Two football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Looking to throw on second down. Groves. He drops this one off underneath here for Hill. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 47. Off the play fake, Groves. Dancing to his left. He's going to take off with it. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They run. Chow. And he'll get about three as he's brought down to the 28. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback. And no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Off play action. Groves. And he's going to be taken down. Back around the 35-yard line. Enough takes to start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And Old Low is a very, very fickle man. The seventh play now of this opening drive. This is third and long, though. From the gun, Groves. He's got a first down and much more inside the 20. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Able to convert on third and 14. A terrific play call. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. this down to about the 12 for a gain of three. I think that's the type of run we'll continue to see throughout this game. The snow coming down, I don't expect a lot of big plays to be broken. Operating from the gun. Groves toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. He was looking for Albert O. Albert Okue Bunam was the target there, and it's third down. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. 
been a pretty long opening drive. This will be play number 11 coming up on third down. On the carry, it's Chubb. And they will get to him at the seven and stop him short of the first down marker. Now a stoppage here as we've got a bill shaken up on the play. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. They'll run for it. Chubb. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. A gain of four on the play. And the decision to go for it pays off. They've got a first and goal. Throws and the ball is out. It's a live football. Now this is picked up by the Bills. He's at the 50, 30, the 20, 10. And this is going to be brought back for a Bills touchdown. How about that for a momentum swing? You had it goal to go. Not only do you cough it up, but they pick it up and return it all the way for a touchdown. And now you have to give oxygen to the entire team because what a letdown that was. Terrific drive. Look like you're going to get points. Instead, the other team registers them on the scoreboard. The point after, no gimme in the snow, but it's up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. 25-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And they'll be looking to start fresh. Just a moment ago, they were backed up, coughed up the football, and then saw it go the other way for six points. I just wonder, partner, sometimes they put such an emphasis on things. And you know in that situation, as they ran out there, they were told, take care of the football, don't cough it up. And sometimes that's the last thing you hear, and that's exactly what you do. Off the play fake, Groves. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. So much about defending the pass is being able to be right there at the moment the ball gets to the receiver, and he was right in his hip pocket, helping force that incompletion. On third down, Groves. And that will be incomplete as well. That looks like it's going to be two empty possessions now to start this football game. I think they're going to have to sit down and talk about what worked for them last week in their win. Sometimes you over game plan, overthink things, get back to what works. And a fair catch taken back near about the 35, 36 yard line. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And that will come the offense as they take over. So here come the Bills on offense for the first time. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their 35 yard line. From. He's got his tight end complete. It's green. A good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard, and it's second down. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that, but it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. First rep of the game for Josh Jacobs. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. A one-yard pickup brings up third and eight. Here's from the throw. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free, and it brings up fourth down. Brandon, we saw these defenders flying to the football in their win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. That'll be a 41-yard punt, four yards there on the return. They're on 23-yard line. The offense trots back out there. Let's turn our focus now to Nick Chubb. A tough challenge here in this one. We'll see if he can duplicate the numbers on your screen that he put up last week, up over 100 and a touchdown. We're watching tape to prepare for this game. One thing you noted that I totally agree with, 
great complimentary piece in the last game. You know, they're able to throw it pretty well. He ran it exceptionally, and they hope to continue that same formula in this game. Complimentary with an E, not an I. That's my English teacher right there. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. Chubb. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Now after the play, it looks like there's a Texan here slow to get up. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Looking to throw. Groves. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. Give him 32 on the play. That's why you call a screen. You want to catch a defense overcommitting. Plenty of space available, and that matched up perfectly. What a convoy he got downfield to pick up big yardage on that play. Now Chubb. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to the huddle feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Off play action, Groves. And his throw is incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Jay Sternberger, there. And it'll bring up third down. Third down. They need to get this to the 24 on third down. Operating from the gun. Groves eluding the pressure right. He may try and run for this. And he will be out of bounds here on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here, this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. I'll tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. They haven't allowed a point yet, flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incomplete. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Tervarius Moore. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. Open space inside the 10. This will be caught inside the 10. They'll wind up with 17 on that one, but they're still a bit short here for fourth. That's the number two receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage, and tell you what, a few more plays like that, he won't be number two for long. Well, that's what often happens when you have competitors running around the field. These guys know where they stand in relationship to yardage, totals, numbers, the whole deal. And let's face it, all of them, they all want to be number one. And the Texans are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. So give them the first down. First and goal after a pickup of four, and the decision to go for it pays off. Throw. 
Groves under pressure now, and he's going to go. Vision to make. Yeah, could you feel the exhale? Because they were already thinking ahead, as all the good coaching staffs do. Anticipating what we have to make the call. They already had it lined up. Never even got to it. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball, the biggest playmakers you have, that they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving. Get it to the horses. Without a doubt, they're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. Those are the types of runs they told us they want to see more of. Look, they'd love the 60 to 70 yard runs, but those 10 to 20 yarders, they can help you win a ball game. And that means everyone's invested because you know the big guys up front. That's what they do. They try and move people. But when you get your perimeter guys involved downfield, that means that they care about the running game and they know it helps their team. At the 35 yard line. Looking to throw from under pressure, and the Texans able to get in there for the sack. A great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. That'll be taken in there by James Washington. And he'll only get this to about the 35. Well short of the line to gain. They do get 10 back, but still a ways to go on fourth. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Off the play fake. Groves. He'll let this go deep for Ruggs. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. Groves. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. So the ref takes a peek here, wants to see if the receiver had possession and both feet inbounds. If this were a college game. I'm sure as a coach, when you throw the flag, you hold your breath, then you get the verification you were right, a sigh of relief. Not only a sigh of relief, a little vindication as well, because every time you pull that red flag and throw it, you could be costing your team a timeout. Well, your QB's been sacked four times in the game already, and they're the holding goal. And you know darn well the offensive line coach is frustrated and upset that he's been hit that many times already. He doesn't really care that they hold now. Just don't let him get hit anymore. To throw on second down. Groves. They set up the screen to Hill. So the screen good for only two. Now it's third down. So many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner. Everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short game. Throwing on third and long. Groves, he'll let this go deep for Ruggs. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. We've seen this offense do some unconventional things thus far, but they couldn't go for it on fourth down here, could they? Could someone patch us into the head coach's headset? Punt the ball. And the return man will shuffle through the white stuff, secure the fair catch with both hands. That'll go as a punt of 34 yards that time. Buffalo set to get the football back here. They've had it twice. They've punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all, and let's face it, every